got a pretty big holiday weekend coming up, and if you buy gas Saturday or any time beyond that, get ready for some higher prices. The Maryland state gas tax is scheduled to make its yearly increase in just a couple of days. Now an outcry from lawmakers who say it should stop going up entirely. WMR2 News Jack Watson with the story now. So Jack, break this all down for us so we can understand what happens next. Well, Kelly, the Maryland gas tax will increase from 40, 43 cents a gallon where it is right now to roughly 47 cents on Saturday. Republicans and the Democratic governor say they're hoping for something different. It can be an exhausting image. Those digits ticking up and up. You see it every week or two when you hit the gas station. And in just a few days, you'll see it go up even more. It cannot go down, it can only go up. An upcoming gas tax increase hits just before the 4th of July as holiday travelers hit the road. Some state lawmakers, including Republican Senate Minority Whip Justin Reedy, are pushing back on it. He represents Carroll County in the state house and says the tax shouldn't just go up automatically. I believe we should go in and end this practice and the legislature should take action every time to affirmatively vote to raise uh, a gas tax. But certainly at the very least, we should stop this increase from moving forward. The gas tax increase finds its roots in the state house roughly 10 years ago. When inflation goes up, so too does the gas tax automatically every July 1st. We heard similar calls to change it last year as gas prices soared across the nation. This year, as inflation cools, it'll go up four cents as opposed to the seven cents last year. But still, it's going up. And at the same time, we have to make sure that we're looking out for the pocketbooks of working class families. In Baltimore Thursday, Governor Wes Moore says there has to be some sort of change. However, Moore says there won't be a special session to address it, which Republicans wanted. I believe, and I believe deeply, that we've got to find ways of being able to fund our, tra our transportation assets that are not exclusively focused on, on, on increasing a tax or a gas tax uh, on working families and other items that are frankly, that are regressive items. A spokesperson for Governor Moore told WMAR he is not looking to appeal the law. The governor, of course, has high ambitions for transportation in the state, and that transportation is where the tax revenue is meant to go. Well, again, all scheduled to go into effect this July 1st. That's Saturday. Of course, a huge travel weekend ahead. AAA says more than 43 million Americans will hit the road. Kelly.